you see here is the Fuge 3 radio station uh, from the uh, from the aircrafts, the great aircrafts. Was uh, from 1933 from 36 um, made for the aircrafts from marine systems. What what happened? You know in the um, Versailles yeah. contract. You're talking about the Versailles contract here, aren't you? The, the it, Versailles treaty. Yeah. And this, um, um, we, it was not allowed for the Germans to have a motor air force. But we had have uh, ships, and on the ships were also radio stations. So, and <coughs> when, the, when came the Nazis, uh, then the, the, the boss from them told, uh, we make also a motor air force. By the boss, you mean Adolf Hitler? <laughs> yeah, 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 but I will not tell him crazy name. So, and um, so uh, we also need radio stations for the aircrafts. But we don't have something. Well, we didn't have Aircraft, something. Uh, you, Germany was not allowed to have an air force so, under the Versailles Treaty. Air force, uh, motor air force. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and uh, then uh, the quick solution was to take the uh, uh, marina uh, radios and make them more uh, more special for aircrafts, not so not so so heavy and so on with the with the aluminium case and so and so and so and so on. So here you, as I say, here you see a typical, uh, uh, a typical marine receiver, and this marine receiver was switched in, uh, in, the, in the aircraft receiver. Also was the same with the transmitters. This was the transmitter. Was also very heavy for the uh, marine and was made in the. Uh, for the um, aircrafts, more not so heavy. Okay, and uh, the uh, generator, the power supply for this was by the motor, uh, by the wind generator, yeah? <coughs> and this wind generator was on top of the aircraft. The yeah, a large aircraft. For example, uh, Junkers 52, U-52, it's very, very pretty known. Here you can see this. And also in the Heinkel 111, uh, this was the, air, the first uh, aircraft uh, was, uh, was made with this uh, radio. But what you see here is the ground station. The ground station, for example, here, to have the contact from the aircraft to the ground. But also was this used as the uh, the station in a car, yeah. But here you see the transmitter, uh, receiver, and so built in direct in the aircrafts, yeah. Here, here you see a picture where you learned, where you learned to uh, how to do with this radio. Or here you see a picture is is in the Junkers uh, fifty two, uh, uh, built inside, yeah. Still I, not possible, though, to put this in a single-seater aircraft for just one man. It, no, no, it was, it was not possible. Yeah, was too, too big. It was too big for, for the uh, um, aircraft with only one, one man inside was the more smaller uh, radios, what we have not later. shown now. Yeah. No? yeah, so, and about this is a very, very great story. Uh, I have found this frame in the uh, after after the when the when the war the war was fallen, yeah. Then the uh, the cellar, what is cellar? Cellar, cellar in the cellar. We f we found all these old parts, yeah, very broken, mm -hmm. and uh, it was many many work to make this very good, <laughs> and these parts also came from plenty other uh, stations. And this was also in the Smithsonian uh, Museum in, uh, uh, what is this number, in uh, USA. In USA, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so <coughs> uh, I, I made a complete station what is full working. The, 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 the transmitter was uh, powered by this um, wind generator and the receiver was powered by batteries. 
Yeah. So and here you can see uh, the test panels and, and so on, test equipment. This radio was a long time in the, uh, in the German aircrafts until the uh, companies, Telefunken and, Tele and Lorenz, got the, uh, uh, the Aufgabe, Aufgabe the, contract. The, contract the contract to make a special uh, aircraft radio. 1933, yeah. 1934, something like that? This is, and that is a Fugi 10, this, this one. Uh -huh. yeah. But this was only a, a, a solution because we have not we have nothing good for aircrafts. Yeah? <laughs> to, to show how this uh, machine works, we need power. Yeah? But this power came from the wind generator. But we don't have wind enough here. Yeah? And so I, 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 I make a motor and put this generator powered with a motor. While Dieter's sorting that out, there's just time to point out that the boss or hub of the wind generator's propeller has a speed governor that automatically varies the attack angle of the blades to keep the rotational speed constant. Peter explains he's removed the inspection cover so that we can see the valves. The large transmitter valve here is a Telefunken RS291 tetrode. And you can find out more about it in our video that looks at thermionic valves in more detail. Dieter's installation is fully operational, but he explains the vacuum tubes need 30 to 40 seconds to warm up before the system can be used. He also points out that each Fugue 3 transmitter was supplied with a unique calibration table. You can see it framed on the case, and it's quite distinctive in photographs of other examples. The tube performance drifts with changes in the environment, temperature and so on, and requires calibrating at power-up using the details on the little chart fixed to the transmitter. The Morse key is pressed to make a test transmission, and an ammeter allows the power output to the antenna to be monitored. And we can also check the transmission on a nearby frequency counter. Dieter mentioned that the transmitter had not drifted from 3800 kHz since the last time the unit was operated. But he speculates that this consistent performance is because the set is kept in a temperature controlled environment. On a 1930s aircraft at altitude, it would probably show more variation. Jahrelang in Betrieb wurde uh, benutzt. Nur, was war doof? Dieter explains that the first versions of the Fugi 3, the transmitter was powered only by the G3 airscrew generator. This means that the aircraft could only transmit while flying. Later versions, called the Fugi 3U, used a motor generator or umformer powered by batteries. Uh, what we see here, these are test equipments for the most, uh, in long time used, uh, radio Fugis 3. So we start here with the artificial antenna. Here you can, um, um, uh, you can uh, make the antenna. Um, and as you can see, it's you have the correct frequencies. Here we have the uh, a proof sender we see, uh, a, 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 a transmitter to check the receiving frequency. Here we have the uh, a test, uh, a test system for the headphones and for the microphone. Yeah. And here we have the, the uh, a complete test, uh, test box, the test cables to test all, uh, all the function of the radio station, yeah? Th these two boxes are together. This is the, 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 uh, the system box and this is the cable box. So here is the same once more. Also together with this, with this uh, main box. 
This is the this is from the uh, from the navy because this system was also in the navy, and so you can see how heavy it was. Yeah. So what you see more here is the um, replacement if we have lost the antenna. The antenna. Yeah. Here was this uh, antenna. If you have lost the antenna, this have a, a spare part. Okay. It's a spare part antenna. So, yeah, these are the, the test equipment for the uh, 4G3. We remember, this was a very old radio station with the big tubes, transmission tubes very big, and also the other tubes are very big. And in the next time, we go to the 4G10 system. You can see this here, and it was so important. Telefunken developed new tubes, transmitting tubes and receiving tubes, and you can com compare what we see before, how small these tubes uh, become. Yeah, and this was an, also the reason to make a new system, radio system. For the, for the aircrafts. And this was Telefunken and Lorenz, the most com uh, uh, competent uh, companies in Germany, get the order, make now a new radio station. Special for the, uh, for the uh, aircrafts with more than, with, with two or more motors. Yeah? So, and so, <coughs> they got, we, we got the Fogel 10 system. Developed in 1937, 30, 38.